Hello oh. Before we begin the video, let's discuss Cloud Foundation. Cloud Foundation is the premier online training platform to help individuals and organizations gain knowledge and skills in the ever-growing cloud computing industry. Actually okay, you are just accepting that response. Actually okay, yeah, so this flow, which means other organizations doing the authentication, we are accepting the SAML response and exactly yeah, we are just sending the SAML response to the SAML connection. I mean sorry. We are accepting the SAML response. Actually okay, whatever the ASC they want to redirect, right, we can redirect it actually yeah. Okay, and so where is the ASC URL where, okay, no, you need to redirect to no, not here. Actually you need to give it in the, the URL, you need to give it in the authentication. Actually. IDP connection. IDP connection. So, for example, they want to redirect to the which SSO application right, Salesforce or ServiceNow, right. You can redirect it actually okay, yeah, okay, but the idea is to read the SAML response and then give the token. How do we give token for this? No, how you? It's impossible how you can able to send the token by using the. If you're acting as a service provider, that's all actually okay. The, your work will stop. Stop it right there, accept the response and then send the. I mean accept the response, send the user to that particular URL. That's all, actually the URL you can. You're configuring it there. That's all. Your work will complete there. You cannot be able to. I mean, once you get the response, how you can able to generate again another token. Actually. It's impossible, right? Yeah. No, but that is a scope vene. No, that's, you can able to do it with any other Salesforce or any other third-party vendor application. Actually I don't think so. It is available in the ping firm because we are actually not doing the authentication. Authentication is already done. Whatever the SAML response which comes, we have to blindly accept it. And, yeah, redirect the user to the application, that's all, it's easy. No, that is a configuration. We are doing it every time actually. Yeah, that is a ping ferret acting as a service provider. Yeah, ping ferret is acting as a service provider, but how, how? How should we give the token? How you can able to generate the token for the SAML actually? That you cannot be able to. You cannot be able to generate the token itself. Actually yeah, for SAML we don't have a concept of token. No, nothing. You cannot, it won't itself. Actually it won't work. Actually, okay. See in Salesforce and all what they are doing it, they will generate that. I mean in in Salesforce. There is a concept called. I mean you will get the SAML response and then they are sending the response and then to access any other API call, actually okay, so that API will create that token. That is the Salesforce application. They are doing it. Different, different applications they are doing it. But inside the ping ferret that kind of a configuration is not there actually. Yeah, but this is about the whatever the user. This is for the use case when, for example, your organization like got another, I mean they purchased in other organizations. Their employees wants to have access to your application, but still the user ID will be there inside their organization. Means then you can access the and then in the endpoint, whatever service domain, service domain endpoint you can give and then the Salesforce, means Salesforce endpoint you can give, automatically it will redirect to that particular endpoint actually. Okay, yeah, so which means here it is the Google.com, 
automatically they will be giving it that metadata itself. It will have that value, don't worry. Okay, so whatever the other organization employee comes here to access the Google Com, so they they are. They are already authenticated over the so far authenticated over that. Their endpoint, actually their IDP. Not here. Actually from our side, it won't. They won't do the authentication. Okay, we are not going to do anything. Okay, so they will do the authentication. They will redirect to us. Actually that's all okay. Once after authentication they'll be redirected here. And this is our application, then write, no, no, this. Yeah, this is our application, but in the they will be having their URL in their metadata. Actually that is the Salesforce, right? They will try to hit the Salesforce, then it will redirect to that right. For example, they need to redirect to the Salesforce only, right, but Salesforce Yorkum. But we should not be having the Salesforce URL here. Right, you won't be having the Salesforce. No, no, you won't be having it. Actually, yeah, it will be there in their configuration, because they are the one who is doing the authentication. We are having the Searl. Okay, Searl, they need to configure it right, not us actually. The Searl is a Salesforce com. Okay, Searl, we are not going to configure it, okay, yeah, okay, so they'll be authenticated from there and they're redirected here. And what happens when I post that? That's all. It will be back to the Salesforce or something right. Yeah, they'll come here. See not, here it is. You are not going to come here actually. When they, when they hit the Salesforce, okay, they will go to the IDP. Authentication is done. Okay, then from. There. Okay there, and authentication will be done. Okay, they will send the response to us. They will accept it. Then, once it is done, they have configured the Searle in the identity provider. Right. We need to configure the SS, you are configuring the Searle in the IDP right, say, for Salesforce, who is configuring this Searl? Actually, they have to do. If we are the, we are the IDP. We have to configure the Searl, Searl right. So then we are not the IDP here. Yes, they need to configure the Salesforce, that's all okay. Then why? Why? They need to come to ping here to accept this. Okay. So why you are going to the Salesforce? Actually you are the identity provider. Okay, but we are not doing any authentication here, so we are not the IDP here. Then why? Why? Why do they want it to come here? We are accepting it because we are the having the Salesforce connection right. We are having the Salesforce URL right from us. Actually so. We are accepting the, which means Salesforce is being protected with us. Yes, exactly, we are having the Salesforce configuration right. So that's why. That's why they are coming here. Exactly. So their URL will be. They will be configuring our IDP initiated Searle, you know right that one, that kind of a Salesforce URL. They will be configuring it as a e so we'll accept it and then we it will pass it to that Salesforce. Then okay, it's a link actually. Okay. For example, can you go to the applications first of all SP connection please? Yeah, okay, so here click on that Salesforce. So here you are having the IDP initiated Searle. They are right in the top. They will configure this endpoint as a ESS URL to them. Actually okay. 
So when they accept it, okay, the ping fed will. I mean they will be redirecting to this endpoint automatically the sales force. It will go. Actually it's an IDP initiated CERL. Yeah, IDP initiated CERL, which should be used only from the ping side to verify the connection. When you hit it, it will automatically redirect to the CERL. Actually right, SAML, yeah, yeah, it will create the SAML response. It will go actually right. So when the SAML, when the, when they accessing the, it is coming to the. When they are authenticated, it will come to the ping fed right to accept the SAML response. Then the CERL will be. And finally do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel.